Hi everyone, I'm Cassandra Thompson, your career consultant, and today we are talking about the two jobs you must get while you're in college. Uh, I will explain what those jobs are, why you need to go after them, and be sure to stay till the end because I will tell you how to go get them even with little to no experience. Uh, y'all, I'm filming from my apartment and the people across from me have birds and the birds are up and they're squeaking a lot. There's nothing I can do about it. So if you hear that, I'm real sorry. Oh my gosh, they're so loud. So job number one, a customer service job. Now, you might be like, well, those aren't the highest paying. Sometimes they pay minimum wage, but they are the easiest jobs to get and no matter what, Anywhere you work in life, you are going to have customers. Uh, it's just as you get older, we get fancy and call them clients. But customer service is a skill that will help you throughout life. So that mall job, the job at Starbucks, the job at Disneyland doing the two finger point. I worked at Disneyland. I got to stand by that ride board where it tells you the times of the fireworks and people would still come up and say, what time are the fireworks? And you get to stand there and go, the fireworks? are at 9.30. Uh, but it was great skills to learn, to learn how to deal with people politely, even when difficult. And those are skills that will go with you for every job throughout time. Plus, those are skills that employers look for uh, after college. So when you're going for that first, like, real job, uh, you know, even though they're all real jobs, they are looking for someone who knows how to talk to people, who can communicate with people, who's worked as part of a team, who understands how to deal with difficult folks. Uh, because like I said, you're still gonna have people to deal with when you're in a different job or that full-time real job. They just call them clients or they still call them customers. So it doesn't go anywhere. So having those skills early and building those skills is super important. Um, and as you get your resume built more and more, I see people make this mistake of taking their customer service job off for related student organizations or related work experience. Um, don't take off or at least keep one of those customer service jobs. I know at CAA, Creative Artist Agency, the largest talent agency there is, uh, they're, one of their recruiters loves seeing McDonald's on a resume. You could have all this agency experience, but seeing McDonald's shows her, hey, this person knows how to multitask. This person knows how to deal with crazy people. If you can work that drive through window at McDonald's, you can do a lot of things. So get one of those customer service jobs. Okay, so the second type of job you should get in college is an administrative position. Uh, this is because those first entry level full-time job positions, a lot of times still say, would love one to two years previous administrative experience. And I remember seeing this before uh, I graduated and thinking, okay, how am I gonna get that experience? How am I gonna get that experience? Hmm. There's student assistant jobs on campus. Maybe I should try for one of those because even working on campus part time as a student assistant is still a year of experience. It didn't say one year full time experience. It just says a year to two years experience. So getting an on campus student assistant job totally works. So I was receptionist for admissions at my college um, and I did that for I believe nine months and that was just enough to help show, yes, I know how to schedule calls, uh, I know how to schedule meetings, I know how to take calls, I know how to put people on hold, all these things that, while totally teachable, people don't want to train on, they want you to already have those skills, so try and get those opportunities in college. And just a special note to my entertainment communication students, those of you wanting to go into those fields, these jobs are especially important for you because most likely your first position out is going to be as an assistant or as a coordinator, which at a lot of companies is just a nicer way of saying assistant. Uh, so having that previous admin experience is going to set you apart from everybody else on that playing field and make you a much more competitive candidate. Okay, so just a little extra tip. 
Uh, on the customer service front, I would try for companies that are already known for their excellent customer service. So I kind of did this on purpose in my career. I worked at Disneyland. Disneyland is known for excellent customer service. It shows that you have great training behind you. Um, I also worked at Nordstrom, which while I have a bone to pick with them now, I think the customer service has gone down. It is still known as an industry leader in customer service. So it's another great one to work at. But Starbucks is known for their amazing training programs. Um, any big company, like I said, McDonald's, a Taco Bell. I know Bubba Gump, if you live in a touristy city and there's a Bubba Gump near you, um, I read a great article a billion years ago about how they hire based on personality. They want just nice, happy people. They can train you to be a server. They can't train you to be nice. So they hire on that, which is a great way to hire people and learn skills on the job. So maybe look at Bubba Gump too. Um, but any of those companies that are known uh, those big corporate companies, sometimes it helps to work for one of those because there's name recognition and the person can immediately understand what you did. If I'm looking at a resume and it says barista, Starbucks, and then your first bullet point says lead for morning shift Monday through Friday, oh, I know what goes into that. I can picture that. You've got a lot of skills. You can multitask. You can work under pressure. You can lead people. You can handle difficult people. Like, oh my gosh, it could go on and on and on. Um, so just having one of those big companies sometimes helps to be able to show those skills to other people because we can already picture you in the position. And I bring up customer service because yes, there are jobs that'll pay more, but they're not going to give you the transferable skills. I've seen some resumes lately with people who were dishwashers at a restaurant or worked construction for a summer, but they want to go into advertising. And yes, those jobs probably paid a lot more, but you don't have those transferable skills because you can't say I've worked with people. You can't say I've had to solve problems. You were just doing that one task at hand and it's not putting you on that trajectory for that future you want. So you want to be finding jobs that will help you get to those bigger jobs you want down the road. Okay, so how do you get these jobs? Uh, first thing, I think customer service jobs are going to be easier to get than admin jobs. Uh, administrative jobs, I think, want to see that you've had some work experience before. So if you have not worked at all, try for customer service first. And the way I would do that is go into stores, ask for an application. If they say it's now online, uh, bring your laptop with you, go out into the mall food court, get on their Wi-Fi, you know, or run home if you have no Wi-Fi there, run home, fill out the application, and then go back the next day or go back that afternoon. It doesn't look crazy. I think people think it looks too enthusiastic. They want people who are enthusiastic. So go back in and introduce yourself and say, hey, I wanted to let you know I just applied for the sales associate position online. Um, but I wanted to introduce my, myself in person. I'm really interested in working here. That's it. Um, so even if you find it online first, always go in store or in the restaurant, ask to speak to the manager, be dressed the part. Now you don't have to come in a suit if it's not a suit environment, but we're not coming schlubby in our jeans and our baseball cap. We look put together. We've got on a nice top. We've got on nice pants. This isn't what you're wearing on like a beach day or just even going to the mall with friends. You're gonna be dressed a little nicer because you wanna make a great impression. You're gonna stick out your hand and shake their hand and introduce yourself, right? Just say you're interested in a job, would love to keep in, you know, would is very interested, applied online, and that's it. Now, you're gonna have to do this a lot of places because people will say they're hiring and then they'll wait months to hire, especially in customer service. So don't be afraid to follow up. A week later, go back in or call and say, hi, you know, I introduced myself last week. We met last week. I just wanted to follow up and see if there was any update on um, the associate position. You know, as I mentioned before, I'm very interested. And see what they say. Sometimes they wait for people to make that follow-up and then they'll bring them in for an interview. So you, of course I get the hiccups. You always wanna be following up. Your persistence in following up will show them your interest and enthusiasm for that position. So once you've gotten that customer service related job, 
do that for a while, I'd say at least six months, and then try for an admin position. Now, admin positions are awesome because number one, they normally pay a little more than that customer service. Two, you're probably sitting down. And three, if you had to work an outdoor job like at Disneyland, now you're in air conditioning. Oh, I remember when I switched that, I was so excited. So it's great. Uh, as I mentioned before, I would start looking on campus if you still work at a university or still go to school at college or university. Look for those student assistant positions. Go to your career center, ask them how you find positions on campus. Other ways, like I said, call up family members. Let everyone you know know. That sounded weird. Let everyone you know know that you're looking for an administrative position, that you'd really love that experience. Because someone you know is going to give you a chance that a stranger may not. And then the last way is to look at staffing companies. So you probably have heard of them as temp agencies, but a staffing agency or a temp agency will give you a chance. Just make sure you're following all their rules. Every staffing agency is different and some will want you to call in every Friday and give your availability. Some will want you to just check their website and hit apply on the things, on the jobs that you're interested in. So make sure you're checking their website every day and hitting apply. And with the staffing agency, you are gonna have to go in in person, do a brief interview with their company normally, take some online tests for Microsoft Word, Excel. So you have to put in a little work on the, on up front, but it's gonna be worth it in the long run. Anything like that to show you've worked in an office place before is gonna go really far to show those basic skills like answering phones, scheduling calls, but also an understanding of office professionalism. Okay, so now you know the two types of jobs I think all college students should get. Try to get that first customer service job and then leverage that to get that admin assistant job and you are gonna look so good on your applications for bigger internships and that first full-time entry-level position because you will have those two skills everyone is looking for, customer service and administrative experience. So with that, that is the end of today's video. If you found this helpful, please give it a thumbs up up, share it with your friends, and right now you should be getting suggestions of other videos I think you'd like, so please keep watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!